Hi, buddies! Welcome to this new tutorial. Publishing an article in an academic journal can be a very frustrating task, especially when we go through this process for the first time. In fact, this process is not a work in the park. Instead, it requires hard work and focus. But don't worry, today we're sharing five tips that will definitely pave your road to your first paper. Well, I'm pretty sure many of you didn't know about the fifth tip. That said, let's see the first tip, which is targeting a suitable journal. There are volumes of journals where you can submit your manuscript like Nature Journals, Geotechnic, Ocean Engineering, etc. But when targeting a journal, do not target the top journals for the first time. On the contrary, you should target the journals that are more likely to accept your paper. But what you can do is to use the writing and aesthetic styles of top journals as a baseline. You should also keep in mind to balance the review time and acceptance rate. The second tip is to present something new. Obviously, your research work should be meaningful, innovative, and original. Otherwise, your manuscript will be simply rejected. Don't worry, this is not a big deal. Just watch our video on how to bring innovation in research. Find the link in the description. That brings us to the third tip, which is edit your manuscript extensively. About this point, there is a good news for you guys. Yeah, you can even dance. Well, the science research writing is very conventional. That simply means it has a conventional structure and a conventional language. The conventional structure is what we all know. Introduction, methodology, results, discussion and conclusion. But tell me, what do you notice about this diagram? Well, it's symmetrical. This simply means what's done in the introduction section should be done in the reverse way or reverse order in the discussion and conclusion section. Secondly, it's narrowed toward the central section and widened after it, indicating the transition between a broad focus and a narrow focus. Because the research writing is very conventional, the amount of grammar and vocabulary you need to learn is very small. You'll only have to master or pay attention to tense per paragraphing and active voice. Please watch our video on how to write a paper. The link is provided in the description. The fourth point is to convince the reviewers. This mainly depends on how you present your methodology and results section. For example, while presenting the results of your work, do not merely describe what's obvious from the graph or diagrams. Instead, you must discuss the practical relevance of your findings along with relevant references. Long story short, just show how your findings can improve the practice and pay attention to the logic flow of your ideas. Well, this is the last tip, which is reference smartly. What does it mean? Let's take a look at this reference pyramid. Here, what you need to do is to cite the articles that receive the most recognition on that specific topic of your field. By doing that, your manuscript will gain credibility. Also, do not cite articles that are below the standards of the journal to which you intend to submit your manuscript. Instead, reference articles from the said journal as well as articles that are above its standards. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe.